What's up guys, Diego Prime here back again with another video. So as you can see on the title below, I joined the virtual fan experience of the WWE. And it is the WWE Thunderdome. So the WWE Thunderdome is the new normal for the WWE in which fans could be part of the live show in a virtual way. So before I want to share my experience and tips on how to be in the WWE Thunderdome, I just want to show you a picture where I became part of the virtual crowd in the WWE Thunderdome during Monday Night Raw. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, I was in the WWE Thunderdome for Monday Night Raw and that picture was actually the six-man tag team match between Drew McIntyre and the Street Profits against Randy Orton, Dolph Ziggler, and Robert Roode. And that happened a few days ago. So the WWE Thunderdome is a great experience for me as a WWE fan because it is like you are watching in the arena itself. Either Raw, SmackDown, or any pay-per-view in the WWE. So basically, I am from the Philippines and the time difference here and from the United States is just 12 hours. US Eastern Time. For example, if a WWE show begins at 8pm in the United States, then it is 8am here in the Philippines. Watching Main Event and Monday Night Raw being part of the WWE Thunderdome crowd for four and a half hours was really worth it. So if you want to be part of this amazing virtual crowd experience watching a live wrestling event, here are my tips on how to be part of the WWE Thunderdome. Number one is be updated. Be updated on the social media posts by the WWE via Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You will see a post that says Raw, SmackDown, or any pay-per-view, WWE Thunderdome, see yourself on TV just like this one. There, they will provide you a link to register. Or just type on the search bar, WWE Thunderdome. Once you've already entered the registration site of the WWE Thunderdome, they will need your first name, last name, and your email just like this one. Once you've entered all the necessary information given on the registration site of the WWE Thunderdome, you will read first the terms and conditions or basically the rules once you've entered the WWE Thunderdome. Just be prepared if you want to join the WWE Thunderdome. The social media post regarding the WWE Thunderdome registration will be two or three days before the show either Raw, SmackDown, or any pay-per-view event. After a few minutes, you will receive an email regarding your call time when you join the WWE Thunderdome, just like this one. Number two is be on time and be prepared. Now on the day before the show starts in a few hours, you will receive an email again regarding the link that you will enter to join the WWE Thunderdome just like this one. You can use any device when you join the WWE Thunderdome. It's either a laptop or a desktop, a tablet, or a mobile phone. But I suggest that you will use a laptop or a desktop so it will be more easier. Of course, you will set up your camera and your microphone. After that, there you have it. You're already in the WWE Thunderdome. So just wait patiently until the show starts in a few moments. Unfortunately guys, I wasn't able to screenshot how the WWE Thunderdome looks like in your screen. The main screen of course is the WWE show itself and the lower left side on your screen is yourself. You will know how it looks like once you've entered the WWE Thunderdome. Number 3 is be energetic. Of course, you are already in a virtual crowd during a WWE show. And your goal there is to be on TV. Woo! 
So guys, if you are watching a WWE show in the WWE Thunderdome, you will actually hear an instructor or a moderator speaking when you are watching. They are the ones to instruct you what to do and what not to do. For example, I remember an instructor saying, Hello and welcome to the WWE Thunderdome. Of course, they will tell you also the rules during the show. And also, they are encouraging to do the cheers, the boos, and your OMG expression. Sounds fun, right? Number four is don't do unnecessary things. Like I mentioned earlier, there are rules when you are in the WWE Thunderdome. Of course, we don't want to get kicked out. Things like shaking your camera, smoking or vaping, it's not allowed in the WWE Thunderdome. I forgot to mention that the WWE is encouraging fans to wear their official merchandise, specifically t-shirts. I'll show you an example of a WWE t-shirt in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just like this one. It is John Cena with also a WWE authentic wear patch. Or even you can have a WWE Championship belt just like this one. It's the big gold championship. Damn is here! With that, there will be a higher chance that you can see yourself on TV. Number five is don't lose your opportunity. There will be a tendency that the WWE Thunderdome slots will be full. Oh God, please no! 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 That doesn't mean that your chance to be in the WWE Thunderdome will be over. All you have to do is keep refreshing the page until you will see an icon that you will enter the WWE Thunderdome. Yes! Last but not the least, number 6 is have fun and enjoy the show. That is also the purpose that you want to be in the WWE Thunderdome. Just to see live WWE action virtually at home. With that, WWE Thunderdome experience is a success. There you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed and you learned something about my experience and my tips on how to be in the WWE Thunderdome. So I will end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. So please like the video if you like it. Comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel Diego Prime. And also hit the notification bell so you will be notified on my next videos. This is Diego Prime and I'll see you guys next time. And I hope you will enjoy WWE Thunderdome. Peace.